All right, what's up everyone? I'm trying to explain this. This is Tuck Notes Beginner Stock Talk and we're going into Game Stock Part 3 or 4 version. I don't know, can't can, can't remember. But I'm trying to explain something that I just figured out and I was trying to do it in a previous video and then I kind of gave up. But <clears throat> the whole what's going on with the Game Stock thing and these people that are the... So there's just these people they're called short sellers and what they do is what they do is they go around and uh, they, they look for companies that are about to go bankrupt and they bet on it that they're going to go bankrupt and so they say okay the company's uh $20 and i bet that after it gets to $15 from there on out, you know, after $15, it'll be bankrupt. That's my call, I bet. And anywhere past $15 to $1, I can make a lot of money off of that. And so what these guys did is they did that. They made a lot of money off of it. They paid their $15 minimal fee that they had to pay back. But on top of that, they made a lot of money off of this deal. And what happened is a lot of other people were doing this. I think this is the story how it goes. And it actually raised the stock of the price. And then people started going, oh, well, shoot. Why don't I just buy a share or two and, and then sit back and kick back and see what happens. I might make some money off of all these other people doing the work. <clears throat> That's at least what I would do, you know. I don't. I, I wouldn't keep doing another gamble. Well, maybe I would <clears throat> after the way that one worked because this billionaire did. He did it. He said, "I bet it'd get to one hundred fifteen dollars on such and such date," and it did. And he won five hundred thousand dollars. Like I told you last night, donated to this fund to continue helping these short sellers. And now Wall Street is pissed off. And what they did, Wall Street, is like the companies, all the companies, like GameStop, the owner said, you know what? I'm restricting you guys from buying or doing options of this. And I'm going over in this video, is it legal for brokers to do this? And I have an interview with a broker. Um and to block trading for the entire day. Like, it does not sound fair at all. But these people have the power to do it. They have the power to lift it and then put it down. And I'm gonna go into another story after this about another company that I believe this is a, just a hocus pocus Tucker thought, but correlated somehow maybe to the dogecoin and what's been going on with that today and how now that's going through a whole other restriction process because too many people are making too much money off of the, this coin that's less than a penny uh it's rad it's really cool so it's like okay government you you know you you got us but we're going to come up with another way to get you. So here, look at Bitcoin. It's going up. <clears throat> How long for all this is going to happen? I don't know. It's a tug of war. Like that's basically how this is going. It's a tug of war between the guys that said, oh, you know, I bet I, I am, you know, I've got this share now. It's a hundred and whatever. And I'm not going to sell it. And then you got these other people that said uh, the short, I don't know if they're the long squeezers or the short squeezers, but it's a tug of war between institutions and people like me and you and other people our age and other ages, but more so people our age because we're and younger than me that are, we are, are tech savvy and it was such a compliment from this guy, because I can't even pronounce his name, but the movie I made last night, 
for him to say to us that how smart we're catching up that he says, you know, some of, the, some of us are better than some of the hedge fund people he works with. And this is, guy is a billionaire and he knows how this whole, all this stuff works. If you watch this video about him, he calls him up, the CNBC, this guy, whatever his douchebag's name is, and tries to just make him look like an idiot and Cully, C-H-M-A-T-H. Kamath just friggin' made him look like an idiot. And you can see it on his facial expressions. And he's like, what's the next question that I did? What do I do? So, you know, I'm for, and a lot of people are for us and the short squeezers getting this. Because, you know, these guys, us, short squeezers, some of us come from a generation of where our parents lost our house, we, they lost their jobs, they lost everything. And now is a chance for their kids who are tech savvy to figure out a way to make money back to help their parents through this horrible situation of COVID, Biden, the presidency, everything. You know, we're trying, we are helping each other out. That's how I'm looking at it. And I want you guys to look at this too. You notice how many times people say hello to you now? I don't, I live in a small city. So the chances of someone saying hello to me are really minimal. Uh, so if someone does say hello, it's kind of like, wow, someone said hi. If I lived in a bigger city, you know, I'd still feel it, and I do see it when I do go into a bigger city. People are nicer. People say thank you. People open the door. People close the doors. They're they're not. The horns aren't honking all the time. Um, there's just more respect given globally. I think, and I hope to speak. I'm not going to speak for other countries, but I'm going to speak for California. You know, and Southern California. And I, you, I wonder, I, I wonder if you guys are feeling that feeling of, you know, we're going through this crisis, yeah, but there's also, out of this horribleness is connection and relationships and tightness and family and love and closeness with our loved ones, closer than we've ever been before. I'm going off on a tangent from GameStop right now. I realize that, however, it is, uh, it is like, you know, it's a big deal. And uh, this Proposition 19, you know, I keep saying Prop 19, you know, because it's ruining families' lives. It's tearing apart people's, where they live, where they grew up. They have, they're forced to leave or pay this ridiculous astronomical property tax. So I hope we get our governor impeached and I hope he gets out of here. And I hope we get someone in here that is for us to continue on living the dream that we were living before this weird chaos came in. You know, it's just, it, it, the last two years have been so nuts. Yeah. In personal life and in life and in the stock market. Just, you know, I'm up to eight minutes. I'm going to stop right now. I'm going to make another video, cool video, more positive, uplifting video, uh, even though this one is, was uplifting too, but it's also a realistic video from a realistic person who doesn't BS. Right. All right, so if you like my videos, push the like button. Uh, I'm on, this is Tuck Nuts, uh, Beginner Stock Talk on YouTube, and I'm on Instagram at Tucker MLO. I have bad internet service, so some of these videos will not be going to YouTube. They will be going to Tucker at Tucker MLO Beginner Stock Talk. So you'll find the videos there if they're not uploaded on YouTube tonight. Okay? For some reason, Instagram's uploading faster than YouTube. And I hate doing this, but I have to do it. Um, my Wi-Fi sucks right now. So work with me too. Have some love. All right. Good night.